you guys and gals, Nery here from Drake Queen Game, and some of you mounts with the Gaming Dragon today. I'm coming back at you with the Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace, Case Gaze Path. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. All right. So, defeated, Case K conceded the point, but not before insisting on calling over a couple of the bodyguards that have been keeping an eye on us to help load our bags up behind, bags back into the bus. The coach's face well, was absolutely priceless when he saw it happen. I wish I had snapped a picture of it. After that, the fatigue promptly caught up with me, and I passed out the moment my body hit my seat. I only woke up hours later when Saya shook me awake, much more gently than I would have usually expected from her, I might add, and asked me if I needed any help getting off the bus. <laughs> um. Oh no, the game froze! Give it a sec, there we go. Finally! Why does it feel like this trip gets worse every time? It certainly was eventful. No, I don't mean the competition itself. I meant the actual trip. You know, being on the road for hours. Oh, of course you did. You do know that America is huge, right? How long do you expect your trips to be when you're there? Don't remind me. All right, you three, get your bags out of the bus quickly so the poor driver can head home already. Yes, sir. And you, Ichikun, if you need anything the next few days, please come talk to me. But what is there to talk about? Hmm, I suppose it would be difficult to, yeah, regardless. I'll have a few adjustments to your training re regimen on Monday. Make sure you show up or prepared for it. Seriously? That's it? Aren't you being a little insensitive here? The crocodile smiles, seemingly amused by, s by me snapping at him. Would you prefer I continue trying to get you to talk? I figured you'd rather face forward and focus on what you can do to avoid something like this happening again, no? Ah! I don't want to agree out of principle, but he's not exactly wrong. Either way, I trust that you all either arrange for transport home or are fine to go on your own. You'll excuse me, I have to check if nothing was forgotten in the bus and start locking things up. Yes, sir. I'll see you all on Monday. Sai and Kaken both nod meekly, bidding farewell to the crocodile as he disappears back into the bus to talk to the driver and do whatever it is he still needs to get done. As for our part, we do as we've been told and grab all, the, all of our bags once again. It still is a little disconcerting to see the absurd amount of crap Kaken brought with him. There's so much that I don't know how, there's so much that I don't know how he can even carry it. Let me guess, Alex is waiting right outside with a car to help you carry all this? You know me so well. At this point, if I didn't, you might as well throw your whole entire boyfriend away. I, um, I had planned on heading back home tonight, but I was thinking that maybe I could spend another night. All this just because you're worried about me? Maybe. Hmm. My pride wants to say no, but... I will admit that I would like the idea of sharing a bed with Keisuke tonight. It would certainly cheer me up. It's okay with you? Of course. Well, I'm gonna head home while you two make your plans. See you guys later. We could give you a ride, too, if you want. Nah, my house is out of the way. Besides, I need to stretch my legs a bit after sitting around for hours. You're the only person I know who could come back from such a long competition and still have energy to spare. I can't help it. That's how I am. You shouldn't try to change me. Hmm. Come on, game. Okay. Wasn't trying to. Saya Chan turns to me, quickly wrapping her arms around my neck in an attempt in an awkward hug. Please don't beat yourself up too much, okay? You did a great job, you know. I'll try? Seemingly satisfied with my listless answer, Saya Chan pulls away, saying a brief farewell to Keisuke before walking off and heading back home. That certainly was quite nice of her. Saya Chan has her moments. What a cold way to talk about someone that's constantly looking out for you. It's it's not constantly. Keep telling yourself that. The two of us walk past the gate, quickly spotting Keisuke's traditional black limo along with Alexander standing outside it, arms crossed, waiting for us. Evening, Alex. The wolf nods, looking between the two of us briefly before speaking. Good evening. You had a good time at your trip, I hope. You could say that. There's been a brief change of plans. I know I said I would head back to the estate tonight, but I would like to spend one last night at Yuichi's place. I figured something like this might happen. So long as you properly cleared it with him, I have no objections. Would you be so kind as to let the rest of the family know? It is my job to stand on the line of fire for you. You don't have to put it that way. Do not worry. Once I drop the two of you off, we shall head back to the estate and let them know of your decision. If I explain it as you, if I explain it as you being tired from the trip, they might look more charitably on it. How charitably? Not much, but enough. If it'll cause problems for you, maybe you really should head back home tonight. Don't be silly. They'll get on, they'll get on my case whether I go back tonight or tomorrow. I might as well keep you company when you're feeling down. Yeah, but... I've made up my mind, Yuichi. 
You can be so stubborn sometimes. Still, I appreciate the gesture. Get inside. I'd rather not stand outside in the middle of the night for too long. You and me both. I have to resist the urge to promptly for promptly fumbling onto the floor as soon as we walk through the door. Still, I at least have enough presence of mind to take off my shoes and drag my exhausted self past the door and into the house proper. I'm home, finally. Ah, Aniki, welcome home. This little brother's so adorable. Aki makes his way towards us, but I quickly walk past him and throw myself onto the couch, groaning in a mixture of relief and happiness, finally being able to lie down somewhere soft. You okay there? Should I call Alex back to help you up to your room? Of course not. That would be mortifying. Really, being carried is kind of fun. See? Absolutely not. Okay, fine. I ordered some takeout, though, so at least sit up in a bit. You can't eat lying down like that. Watch me. I'd rather not. It sounds messy. Anyway, I wasn't sure if KSK Sam would spend the night or not, so I ordered enough for all of us. I figured that if he didn't, we'd put the leftovers in the fridge for tomorrow. Good boy. Please don't call me that. Aw, but you're such a good boy, Aki. I'll throw your portion away. I swear I'll do it. Jeez, relax. I'm kidding. <laughs> don't you laugh now. I can't help it. Still, thank you, Aki Yushikun. Sorry for the trouble. It's no trouble. If anything, you're the one being troubled, having to take care of my brother and all. No one's taking care of anyone here. Mm-hmm. Listen here, you... Aki ignores me, instead of grabbing my bags and heading upstairs without another word. Is it too much to ask for some respect around here? Hmm, Akiyoshi kun really is a nice little brother. I wish I had one, too. Don't. They'll ruin your life. You're in no position to be saying that to me. Am, too! Come, sit up here properly here. Lying on the couch all sprawled out like that is unsightly. You sound like my mom. She is a wise woman. Oh, God, don't start kissing her ass now just because you know what she does for work. You're my boyfriend. Be on my side. Sometime late there. After having dinner, Aki, Keisuke, and I chattered, chattered for a little while. I pick, a, pick up my food for more than anything, not having much of an appetite to speak, uh, to speak of, but also not wanting to be impolite. Eventually, the fatigue started to kick in, making it get harder and harder for me to stay alert and awake. Once he noticed me starting to doze off, Keisuke excused the both of us and essentially pushed me upstairs to my room. Not that I'm not thankful for the help. My whole body hurt so much that I wasn't looking forward to getting up the stairs on my own. We both undressed down to our underwear, with my flopping with my flopping right into bed while Keisuke flicks the light off before crawling under the covers with me. How are you feeling? Fine. Tired? I can imagine. Keisuke scoots closer, cuddling up to me and gently rubbing my back as he spoons me from behind. Usually I'd prefer to be the big spoon, but this is kind of nice in its own way. Besides, my arms are so sore right now that I don't know if I'd be able to do the rubbing. Focus on getting some rest. I'll be here for you if you need me. Thanks. I love you. I do too. Something warm and moist touches the back of my neck, and as I realize that Keisuke has kissed me there. Under the covers, being enveloped by the warmth of Keisuke's body, which can be a bit of a furnace at times, and his gentle, affectionate rubbing on my back, it takes shocking little time before I pass out. Aw, oh, we've reached it! The end! Alright. Yeah. Save that right there. Okay, so we will do... I guess uh, we'll focus on Haruki's path? Next. Um, maybe or we'll jump back into, uh, jump back into, uh, you know, Dog Boy. Uh, that might be nice. All right. Anyway, uh, yeah, so let me, uh, do this little, uh, outro thing right here. What do we got? Hey, guys, you've reached the current end of this case gate build. I hope you've enjoyed what you managed to play so far. As you guys may or may not already know, all development in Tennis Ace is possible thanks to all my amazing patrons and other supporters who make it possible for me to dedicate the time to work on the game as well as commission the art for it. If you haven't already, and if you're able, maybe you should consider helping to support us. Just click here and you'll be taken right to my Patreon page. Once again, thank you all, and we'll see each other with the next demo. Alright! Ah, oh, man. Uh, I wonder how things with Case Case family are going to pan out. Because they really just sound like they want him to, like, use... Yuichi to further their own goals, and I know that K is not going to be a fan of that. Hmm. Alright. 
Anyway, y'all, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank you all for you for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you for our silver tier patron, Cade Silverman. Thank you for going above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you for our gold tier patrons. Y'all are awesome. We love you. Thank you for subbing to Ultimate Tier. Anyway, if y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to all of our not safe for work contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>